Vamos a morir en Atsun Chisiri, güey. ¿Sí? Algo fila de bate, güey. Evelyn was 39 when last summer she suffered a massive aneurysm. She fell into a coma. Although making a slight recovery initially, a few days later she went into what experts told her husband is a minimally conscious state. When she must recover or came out of the coma, I was really into, I was hanging on her. I was talking to her. Please don't die, please recover. Please think about the children, think about us. And I believe these are the results of the caring and the love we give. But communication, I don't... She understands, she hears, she sees, but she's tried to express herself, but I think she cannot give the commands to do it. Evelyn's family agreed for her to be involved in a study to see if consciousness can be measured and, crucially, altered through non-evasive electromagnetic signals. We, by all possible means, try to reduce the uncertainty about is there consciousness and what is the prognosis, what can be done. The electromagnetic signals are sent for around 20 minutes. Researchers want to stimulate the plasticity of the brain to help patients eventually recover some consciousness. Our aim is to help the neurons communicate between themselves more easily. If, for instance, we're stimulating the prefrontal cortex of the brain, that's where superior cognitive functions, memory and attention are located, we'll make it easier for the patient to improve their working memory, their attention. And in the case of patients in minimally conscious states, they could eventually show some signals of consciousness. The research behind this European project was coordinated in Barcelona. The scientists here see the technology as a unique tool for developing cognitive sciences. The goal is to be as efficient as possible, but it's a huge challenge. These patients go through higher or lower periods of watchfulness. Depending on when you apply the stimulation, their capacity to recover certain consciousness might differ. That's why we're testing three different methods of brain stimulation, all on the frontal cortex. We're stimulating patients when they're in high periods of watchfulness, in lower periods, and also as a control measure in random selected periods. The spatial accuracy of our electromagnetic signals is one of the main technical improvements we're working on. We want to accurately and efficiently reach certain regions of the brain, and the eventual solution we're looking at is to increase the quantity of electrodes being used in the electrical stimulation. Doctors in Liège say half of the participants in their study have shown slight signs of improvement, but they insist research must continue. Very often I hear, be careful, don't give these people false hope. But also we should be um, aware that there's something like false despair. For too long we thought there's nothing we can do for any of these patients, and that is wrong. It's difficult, but everything is in progress, and I think I fight for it, and uh, I think it's gonna, gonna work. <laughs>